Hey guys, it's Margaret and I am bringing you a haul video. I showed a bit of it this weekend on the Staying on Point on Sunday, but I rushed through it because I didn't have any of the numbers pulled up on uh, what I thought I might get for it. And really I like to be able to share what I think is going to, what I'm going to get for the items. So, um, hello in the chat, I have this going live, so hopefully later the audio and video sync up. I know sometimes that is an issue, so crossing my fingers on that one. Hello, going on grumpy. Um, so yes, I will show you what I picked up. Everything I bought um, was $37. So it was from a church garage sale, a individual garage sale, and then I hit a thrift store this morning and spent a little bit. So total $37. And I did okay. I mean, not, not, I wouldn't say I have a lot of um, huge wow items, but I will definitely make my money back. And I've got to say that I am enjoying getting back into jewelry so much. Um, I know I started off doing a lot more vintage stuff and branched out, and I'm sort of pulling it back in a little bit. So I'm enjoying that. <laughs> so let me get started. And I'm going to do a bit of screen sharing here and there so that you can see. The first item that I picked up, I got, whoop, <laughs> it is a Sheffield Ladies Pocket Watch. And I actually, I spent $5 on this, which is a lot for me. And I took a chance. And it's really not going for that much. But I liked it so much that I did it anyway. <laughs> so and it, it does work. It's one that you have to wind, you know, hand wind. Um, but when you do hand wind it, it, it ticks away. So let me share with you. Hello, Rush County. And I didn't share the, that I was going live on Facebook or anywhere. I just actually have to go to an appointment in a little bit. So I thought, well, let me just come on and whoever shows up, we'll have an impromptu party. <laughs> All party time, right? Sorry, let me pull my legs up. All right, so let me screen share what I found out about this uh, pocket watch. So here we've got it. Um, it's I could not actually find the same exact one, but the ones that I did find were in this sort of fifteen dollar range, some less. But so yeah, I'm thinking it might go in that fifteen, and it's not huge. So here, this is the closest I could find to it. Um, the back is not exactly the same. There's some differences, but yeah, again, it's it wasn't the great find that I thought it might be. Here, I mean, this one says 45, and this one was a little bit closer to what I have, but again, so I may put, mm, goodness, I may put, you know, 20 bucks on it since it is working, and then just like a best offer type of deal. So, not a huge, I mean, that was a lot for me to pay for it. So, hello, Ty Hipster, how are you? All right, so next up, I got this. At the um, church garage sale I went to, and I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. It was not a lot uh, because everything at the church garage sale was like $24, and I got a lot of stuff there. So it's these Aristocats Avon soap, and I would normally I would not pick up Avon anything, but it's Disney. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Marisa. <laughs> and hey, Shark and Mom deals. So yeah, I picked this up, even though it is an Avon product, uh, Avon is usually at, uh, uh-oh, can you guys hear me? Jeff says he's, he has no sound. <laughs> uh, hello, Carol, and hello, Joni. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I picked this up, and I, I actually got it because on the th at the Thrift Hall Throwdown, I needed a Disney item, and I thought that this might do. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Jeff, he can hear. Good, good. <laughs> All right, so let me share with you what I found about this. It's not as bad as I thought, you know, from what I'm seeing. But still, Avon is not generally something I would recommend picking up. Where did you go? So this one was uh, $4.99, but then there was another one that I liked better, of course. There was... Those, that's not sold. Here we go. <laughs> this one's $75. I don't think this one is sold either. So it's sort of all over the place, isn't it? $4.99, $75. Um, so chances are that I'll put, you know, I may I may put $20 with best offer on it just to see what happens because I really couldn't find a lot of solds on it. And huh, people, there are people that collect Aristocats, so they might. Hey, 
Hey, Sherry Duke, how are you? Thanks for coming in, everybody. All right, let me see. So you saw the next thing pop up. The next item was this brooch that I picked up. And when I got it, I didn't think it was really that old. Um, and then it's got a bit of damage there, you can see. But then the, the only one that I could find that was exactly like it um, says that it is old. So I, I'm not sure. Either their listing is wrong, because I don't get the feeling that this is old. Going on Grumpy says, put it on Etsy. Yes, I, I will. And I generally cross post, so it'll end up on both sites. Yay. All right, so here we go. Let me share what I found out about this one. No markings, but here you see it, this cameo, and it's on Etsy for $45.99. So black cameo necklace pendant, morning jewelry. And was that it? That's all I found. Again, I couldn't find one that was, you know, for sure sold, but that's what I, and since mine has got some, you know, a flaw on it, I, I may put, boy, probably in the $25 range. So there. So there. Is it a brooch or a pterodactyl? What are you messing with me for, Jason? <laughs> what is the pterodactyl coming from? Okay. I'm missing something. Let's look at this. Does it look like a pterodactyl? I'll throw that in as a keyword for you. <laughs> All right, next up, let's see what I had in my research. Okay, so the next thing, where did I put it? Here it is. Was a necklace that I bought at Goodwill, actually. And it looks like this. It's got the, I don't know that I got this at Goodwill, actually. It's got the 99 cent tag on it, so it looks like a Goodwill tag, but I don't think I went to Goodwill. Okay, did you ever see the movie Airplane? Yes, I did. It's been a while, though. <laughs> so it, it's this faceted front. It's got this abalone back. I paid 99 cents wherever I was. And then the mark on it, it did, it did have a tag, and it's got this little XC. Um, gosh, Jason, now I'm wondering about the pterodactyl. I, I got to go look at it. <laughs> um, and then this one, I couldn't find the same exact necklace. And I need to test it because it's not attracted to the magnet. I don't get the feeling that it's silver. It's not marked other than the XC. But let me show you what I found out about when I think I'm, I'm going to ask for it anyway. Because like I said, I couldn't find the same exact one. But I found a couple on Poshmark that had the same marking. Oh, uh, this was not it at all. <laughs> OK, good, Jason. Send me the link. Thank you. I need a laugh. <laughs> So this one had the same marking, and they didn't say what this XC stood for, but this is the same marking. Um, and this necklace that they've got on here, they're selling for $25. Again, I didn't, that was Jason. Again, I did not find a sold, so I can't give you like a comparable. This is one on Etsy that somebody's selling for $55 that was kind of similar. So that's the same one. So I am thinking that I'm going to go... Probably in that $25 range. It's pretty cool, though, so maybe a little more, maybe $30. Um, yeah, so there's lots. And if you know what that XC stands for, because even though the other person had it, they didn't, they didn't say what XC stood for. I was okay, though. Um, all right, so next up, I've got this wishbone brooch that I paid a dollar for. This was at the church garage sale. And again, I paid $37 for everything that I'm going to show you. And th this also is not going for as much as I thought it would. And But, you know, I felt okay because I knew there were some pieces that would make back the money. So for sure I'm going to make the money back. Anything that I've picked up that I was taking a chance on, if I don't feel like it'll go well by itself, then I'm starting to compile some jewelry lots that I'll uh, post at some point when I have lots of it. So there's this little wishbone. Let me share with you. I mean, yeah. It's like a little good luck charm. I love good luck charms. So, but <laughs> apparently this good luck charm is not worth a ton. Oh, come on. There we go. My mouse was not scrolling for me. So these are sold on eBay. Look at this. I don't know why my mouse is misbehaving. I'm scrolling, it's not working. So again, it's not going for a ton, but I was willing to take a chance on it. I'm gonna to have to have a word with my computer here. This is one that's for sale at the moment on Etsy, so I mean, I would probably put, 
you know, $7.99 on it because that's generally the lowest I'll, I'll put on things. Hey, Antique Queen, how are you? So, and here's another one, $14.99. I need to test it. I mean, if it's sterling silver, then, then I could ask, you know, I don't feel bad asking more, but I don't see a mark on it. I don't get the feeling that it is. I know, I, I'm using the, the mouse pad now. <laughs> I've given up on my mouse, so. Let's see. Hello, Tracy. Okay, so that one's probably going to go up for $7.99. We'll see. We'll see. And then I picked up this little vintage brooch with the um, daisies on it. It was really sweet. Again, paid a dollar for that. And I couldn't find the, I found the same exact one, but I couldn't find what it had sold for or what it was even up for because I think it was taken down. So here it was, but when I clicked on it, it took me to something else. You know, the listing was not up there anymore. Um, but I just thought it was really sweet. Uh, so this is one that's similar, probably made by the same company. They're selling for $15.95. So I feel pretty good about putting, you know, in the $12.99 range on it. There's another one, $14. Bucks. But I'm looking at other flowery thing. Oh, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> flowery type heart brooches. This one, that one. Okay, that was it. So I will probably put $12.99 on this little heart brooch. Stop screen share. There we go. Like that. Okay. So the next, what is this? I'm looking at my screen to see what on earth am I, what was that supposed to be? I don't even know. Oh, well, I see, I see. So I was doing a search for this. Um, it's like a little copper spinning wheel brooch. And this one I also paid a dollar on. I, I could not find one exactly like it, but I know that there, there's a bit of a movement in knitting and crochet where people are starting to spin. They've been doing it for a little while, to be honest. So people are spinning their own um, wool to make, to make their yarn. So anyway, a friend of my mom's does it too. So I thought, okay, this is, there, there might be a market out there for people who spin. And then I was thinking also there's keywords like Sleeping Beauty. And as I was telling my husband that, he said, oh, and don't forget Rumpelstiltskin because she's spinning, you know, so maybe somebody, like my mom collects Alice in Wonderland. Maybe there's somebody out there who collects stuff, stuff to do with Sleeping Beauty or Rumpelstiltskin. Who knows, you know? So I can put those keywords in there and hopefully attract some other buyers. Spinners, yes, exactly. So um, I'm going to screen share, and I, like I said, I could not find the same exact one. No markings. It's got a good weight to it. I mean, it's, it's metal. Come here, screen share. Where are you? Here you go. Uh, so yeah, copper spinning wheel brooch is what I searched to begin with. And again, um, I do search Google, I search eBay, and I search Etsy just to get a broader view of what's out there because... Yes, I like to look at what's what the solds are on eBay, but um, as far as I go, I don't necessarily make that my be-all, end-all about how I price things. <laughs> Jason says I love spinners. <laughs> hey, Angie! <laughs> All right, so these are ones on Etsy that I found. I mean, this one right here, this one's a silver one. It's going for $58. But again, like I said, I could not find this particular one at all. And this is another one. I, I, you know, I did a bunch of different searches, but really couldn't find. So this, I, I will probably have to do a bit more digging on to figure out. I mean, I'll probably put, I, I'm comfortable putting like a $30 range if I don't find something better. There is a resurgence of spinners. You're right. There is. So there's that. Um, and there was not a ton of jewelry about it. Uh, you know, out there. And then this little one I picked up. I did not see the Avon marking on it. I just thought it was a little silver baby cuff. I paid 75 cents for it. So this will probably end up in a lot because I couldn't find one like it. And then I don't really think we'll get very much for it. But who knows? Let's see. I'm looking in the chat. Tracy, hello. Hello, Leslie Dabrowski. How are you? Let's be happy Thrifter is here. Is it wood? Were you talking about this one? This one? No, it's metal. It's metal. All right, so I'm going to see what's next. Okay, this next item made me think of my friend Angie, who happens to be in the chat. 
<laughs> this is a little hummingbird pin brooch, but it's got these dangly charms on it. It's got a birdhouse and pansy, and that's a daisy over there, butterfly, and a hummingbird. I mean, it's perfect for the gardener or the bird lover or whatever. So, um, the interesting thing about this, one, it's not marked. The bird is magnetic. The charms are not. And, you know, especially this pansy, it's really tarnished like, like silver. So it may be, it may be that the charms are silver. I don't know why they would mix it up, but hey, maybe they did. So, and, and it makes a nice little clinky sound, you know. So anyway, really, really cute. Let me pop up. I did not find the same exact one either. And somebody, when I showed it real fast the other day, said, it looks like, and they mentioned the name of a maker, and I can't remember what they said or who said it. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what I found. All right, this was my search for that Avon baby bracelet, which I couldn't find. And then here, um, some of the charms. These are sold on eBay. This is why I don't just go off of eBay sold, because I really think I can get more than $5 for this charm. I mean, this pin, easily. So th these are, you know, hummingbird charm style pins, five bucks, five bucks. But, um, and then here we've got one that's a pewter one that's being watched at $25. Um, but again, not sold. And then this, well, that wasn't the same exact thing, but you can see here, this one's going for 20 bucks. I, I really think I can get, I absolutely think I can get more than $5 for this. So I, I will probably put it closer to the $20 mark. Um, just because. So yes, I think you know I'll probably put it, put it closer to the twenty dollar mark because I think I can get it, even though there are only five dollars. I mean, if you tie yourself only to eBay solds, yeah. Angie says I'd go twenty two to twenty five dollars. Yeah. So I mean, if I if I were just going off eBay solds, then I would think, oh, I can't get anything but five bucks for this. But you kind of have to know also, you know, there's. Another marketplace out there, there, you have to know there are people that will all pay the money. Well, they will pay for it <laughs> to get it. Um, that is to say, though, if you're new, for sure, take a look at souls. <laughs> all right, next up is a little frog pin, and he, I paid a dollar for him, and his little back legs move, his hind legs move. And he's really kind of a dime a dozen out there. I've seen, I see quite a lot of them. So let me share with you what I found on this little fella. Let's see. Angie says eBay sold never an indicator for Etsy. It's true. You can get you can ask for for more on Etsy. I can get you can get a better price, which is why I cross post and then put the best offer over on on eBay because what did I do? I clicked something. Hang on. So here's some Oh, that's I don't know what I did. <laughs> Sorry guys. But I'm thinking when I did my research, I must have closed it out. Sorry. I didn't see that he was going to be going for a whole lot, so he may end up in like a brooch lot uh, because, I don't know, I didn't see that he was going for a whole lot, and there were quite a few of them out there. So the next two pins came in a, a baggie together. So actually, you know, I wanted the Roadrunner, but this one was also in there, grandma, heart, grandma, pin. <laughs> so I went ahead and looked it up, like, well, why not? Maybe it's worth something. I. I would not have bought it generally. Um, Leslie says, my mom used to collect frog jewelry. Yes. All right, so here we go. I did not find the same grandma pin, and I would not have normally bought it if it wasn't with the Roadrunner. I didn't. <laughs> but I looked it up anyway. So Super Grandma is the one I found that was closest to it, that had that enamel -y glitter look to it. And where, oh, Super Grandma selling for $5.99. So Super Grandma... And my grandma pin, my grandma pin may end up in a uh, jewelry brooch lot, crafters lot, etc. And then let me show you. Here's my Roadrunner. Here's my Roadrunner pin. Did, did I stop it? No. Okay. Oops. <laughs> he he is not sterling silver, which I wish he was. And those are 99.9% .9 sure that those are not really turquoise, real turquoise in there. You know you're itching to wear. I am. <laughs> so, my grandma pin? Oh no, Angie. <laughs> Not yet. My kids are still little. <laughs> when they get there. 
Um, so this little fella, he's not, again, also not as much as I thought. I'm guessing I'll probably, what did I find? Let me just show you while I'm looking at it. I did, again, I did not find the same exact one for him. Oh, yes, I did. There he is. Boom. But I didn't see him before. So this one is being sold at $12.95. That's what I was thinking. I'll probably put him at the $12, you know, $12.99 range. Um, because he's not sterling silver. If he were, I could ask for more. But not even a 10 more. But that's okay. Again, I liked him. That's why I bought that, that little bag. And then this was another one I took a chance on for 50 cents, just for funny, just for funsies. They are little spools, and then there's like a button and some scissors. They're for, you know, sewers or quilters, fun little earrings. And they're, they're not going for a 10 too, but I thought 50 cents, okay, I'll take a chance on them. <laughs> I was in a jewelry buying mood, but I'm seeing some, you know, for $14, $15 in the same kind of vein as these this one I will not post something for $6.99 I just can't do it it's not worth it for me I mean I know I say that $7.99 is my lowest that I that I like to do because that way you can at least make four or five bucks so those are those I'll probably put them at that you know $8.99 $7.99 and again I know it's not a huge profit but they're easy to list and they're easy to ship and they're easy to store and I'm good with that hey Fran how's it going all right, next, next up, we have got, oh, okay, this is my little gator. And I used to collect gators. I did, I paid up for this little fella. I paid $3 for him, but with everything else, I got a pretty good deal. And he's not going for a 10 too. <laughs> so keep in mind, I have some lower selling things, but then I have some things that are going to make the money back as well. So I am totally fine with that. Here he is. He's being sold at, on this site for $14. And I mean, I saw I saw a few others, but I mean, that's probably what I'll put him at. And Terra Peak, I can't see what they sold for because it's Terra Peak. All righty, so my little gator will probably go in that same fourteen around that fourteen dollar range between twelve twelve ninety nine. It's probably what I'll put him at twelve ninety nine fourteen ninety nine somewhere in there. I used to collect gators, so I get it. I would have bought I would have bought it next. I bought this. Oh, I guess I did get some things at the Goodwill because I did buy this at Goodwill. All right, here we go. I bought this, and I bought this before the challenge too, but I didn't think of using it for the Disney item. So, keyword Everglades, Sharky Mom Deal says, oh, this is true. Everglades. Uh, yeah, cool. So, this is a Mickey Mouse hair clasp. It's Disney and made in France, so maybe Euro Disney. Oh, bye, Jeff. Have a good day. <laughs> and I could not find the same exact one. His nose is, his nose is, that sounds strange, but there's a little bit of wear on the, on the noses. I'm not sure you can really tell. It's, it's very minimal. Or is there? Maybe it's just a reflection. Anyway, pretty good shape for this. And let me screen share what I did find. Do, do, do. Angie says, seems like I saw these on a Periscope. You might have. And I did show a few things when I did my Staying on Point Sunday, but I didn't have the research, so I just kind of blew through them because I was not, I felt bad. <laughs> so here on Etsy are were two um, Disney hair clasps, $37, $19.99. I couldn't find one, or did I find one that was sold? No. These are ones that are on the sold side of eBay. Best offer accepted for a couple of them. Did I pull up what it was? No. So I'll probably put, you know, 25 bucks on there because I can't find the same exact one. So, yeah, I mean, I think I will. And, again, I spent $37 on everything. So making, you know, 25 bucks on a hair, I'll probably make 20 bucks after all the fees and stuff. But still, that's a pretty good chunk to make back. And then, and then, here we go. Ah, this brooch, let's see if I can get that. I paid a buck 25 for, and it's this pewter, I don't even think it's really pewter, I think it's, no, it's not pewter. Um, pewter looking, cherub, heart, shooting star, it's got a lot going on. And this one, let me pull up, I did find, 
Hello, Carmel. This one, somebody's putting up for six bucks. I, I won't post it for six bucks. Uh, this is cute. <laughs> but I couldn't find another another one. So either I will just list it for more because that's the way I like to do it. <laughs> or I'll wait and just put it in the jewelry lot. Like I said, I was taking a chance on uh, a few things. And I felt okay doing it. So maybe I'll put it in a lot. We'll see. And then I got this other frog this one's really pretty I think and it's got this blue I'm not blue but green kind of cabochon body with these rhinestones red eyes like so no markings here we go Kath Palmer says I see you use the web same website as Ken Chapman makeupaprice.com hello Catherine you know Ken's my boy you know I loves him I loves him <laughs> a lot <laughs> All right, so here we go. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. <laughs> but you are, and you know it. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not screen sharing. I'm clicking on it like I'm screen sharing. Uh, but you know, you see Ken's sales videos. He gets what he asks for. He knows what he's after, you know. <laughs> We're kindred spirits in that way. <laughs> All right, so here we have one that sold for $12.95 on eBay so I will probably put it put it you know I might put it at $14.99 since they got what they wanted without you know like the best offer accepted so somebody may be willing to pay more that's right hello Dietrich oh goodness I'm sorry if I say your name wrong Ruthie here a thrifter from the UK found your vids last week and loving them yay I'm so glad you're here yay <laughs> I love my UK friends okay so here's another one but I found another one there where there was a best offer accepted and it sold for ten dollars. So I will probably put I'm sh look, I'm talking to you like I'm sh screen sharing and I'm not. Is that funny? Okay. It's funny for me, but probably not for you. All right, so here is another one I found that had the best offer of ten dollars right there. All right, so then there were a couple items that I didn't look up on this side. I have them all split up. I could not find this mark okay there's like a little X with some something on top like confetti or something so these are the earrings I just thought they were really unusual we'll see yeah but I, I couldn't find the mark so I'm not exactly sure it would be helpful if I knew what the mark was I may have to go to the groups and ask if anyone knows because that might make or break the price you know what I mean if that's a really desirable mark and I can use that keyword then that would you know be helpful in selling them so that's that's a, a question mark and then these ones as well these earrings are these butterfly they have the look and there must be a word for this they look like like they would have marcasite in there but they don't it's just the metal formed to look that way but i couldn't for the life of me think is it Armani Exchange? Oh, good, good. I'm going to have to look that up for those other earrings. Thank you. Um, I can't think of the word for this, the way that it looks, because normally when it looks like this, it has got uh, marcasites in it, and this one does not. So I was looking, trying to figure out what the keywords would be for that. Uh, because when I did a search for butterfly, dangle, silver, black, you know, enamel, I think that's enamel in there, um, I could not find anything. Because I for sure was thinking these would go maybe around the $22 mark. But I couldn't find anything similar to them. So I'll have to ask again in the groups as well. What is that called? What is this style called? It's kind of like Art Nouveau looking. Faux Marcosite, right? But when I see that style, I almost feel like it's an Art Nouveau style. Does that make sense? I don't know. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> but that's what I think of. <laughs> And then these were some other ones that I couldn't find anything similar, but I liked them a lot. And they are these, and there's a word for this too, where it looks like little rope and then this black enamel. So those ones, these ones I paid a dollar for. Ta -da. And then this necklace, I need to test it. It's marked Korea. It's not magnetic. So it might be silver. But I paid a dollar for that as well. And so this will probably go in my, if it is silver, will go in my scrap 
jewelry scrap lot. Okay, so where am I here on the list? Here we go, something's way over here. This one, how am I doing on time? All right, so this is another one that I picked up, paid a buck 25 for it. It is marked 925, where did it go? Here, oh yeah, yeah. Right there, it's marked 925. And I had, a, I had a time trying to find it. So it's a choker style cuff kind of necklace. And this, the end unscrews here so that you can switch, you know, put charms on here or pendants or whatever. So that comes off and on. I'll have to make sure when I list it that that's a highlight. If I can get it back on, come on now. There we go. There we go. Um, so here's what I found. I only found one similar on Etsy. And it has a charm, but it's not a, a big deal charm. So this was the closest that I found that had one of these charms. And they're selling it for $22.50. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I can get that. But here's my thinking. And I, I don't think Karen's in the chat, but she'd probably agree. She'd probably agree with me. I'm just going to say Karen will agree with me. <laughs> As I, I might save it until I find a, a nice charm or pendant that would look good on it and then just sell it like that, you know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, find a nice pendant that's got the same kind of tarnish look to it, put it on there, sell it, because then I can get more than if I just sell it like this, I think. What do you think? I think. <laughs> and I'm gonna think I'm gonna think my friends agree <laughs> okay so I have a few more things that I've looked up and then I have some things that I did not look up so this one I also shared um, on Sunday and it's a Reed and Barton and it's happy birthday and I didn't know what it was when I picked it up but I paid 50 cents at the church garage sale let me show you what it is they are little silver candle holders. So you'd put them in cupcakes or cakes. And this has got a bird. Put the candle in there. There's different animals. This one's a fish. And again, you would stick the little candle in. So it's very fancy. They're for the fancies. <laughs> and a little duck, again, has the hole for the... And a frog. They're quaint, right? They're really cute. And a turtle, like that. So these ones, Sharky Mom says you got you got me into jewelry. There's some good money to be made there, <laughs> and some fun. And it's small. I love it. Right? It's got it all going on. <laughs> so here we go, Vintage Reed and Barton. Happy birthday! And this one, you know, this one is sold. Now here's what you do if you come across because this is how I find when you're searching on Etsy. Hang on, let me talk. Let me look at you when I talk to you. When you look on Etsy, you can't find solds like you can on eBay. But when you do a Google search, sometimes it comes up as a sold listing because you know how with eBay, it only keeps so many of your sold items and then it's just gone, right? Well, on Etsy, it's not like that. All of my solds on Etsy are still there. You know, you can click on my solds and see everything. It doesn't say the price. So when I do a Google search, this will often happen where the item pops up and it doesn't, you know, it'll say, oh, sorry, this is sold. So let me show you how you find the price. Um, there was a way to do it going through the code, and I have made a video about that, but they've changed it since then because they do that kind of thing. So here it is. It shows, you know, sorry, this item is sold. You might also like, but no. What you do is you take the URL at the top, and you go to a site called Flipper Tools, and then there's an Etsy sold price in there where you can drop the link in and it'll tell you. So this sold for $29 plus shipping. So that's good. And it looks like I have all my bits. And, it, and I like it because it also shows me how I'm supposed to set up this pink part of the box. I was wondering about that. <laughs> so I guess this pink part goes on top and then you can poke the little fellas in there like that. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't see any new comments. So that's that. I paid 50 cents for this. And so it looks like I'll probably be able to get, you know, 20 something dollars for it. So yay. All right. Let me close up and see what I got next. I only have a couple more things that I did some research on and I didn't find anything. So let me show you. At the garage sale I went to, I picked up this set of earrings and a pendant. I paid a dollar for this. 
and uh, for the both of them that was a dollar and I, the guy was like my wife paid 50 bucks when she first bought this and she never wore them so a dollar and I couldn't find anything early there's no marks no makers marks and I yeah silver and blue cross pendant earrings set swirled etched I was trying to throw in some extra keywords in there but I just couldn't find anything so my guess is that I'll probably put it Put them, I don't know, at the 30, tell me what you think, $35 range, maybe, something like that, maybe with best offer. But I thought for a dollar, sure. Maybe stick some candles in as well to have the whole hive. <laughs> yeah, I could do that for those little candles. That would be cute. And then, and then, and then at the same garage sale, I picked up a vintage Lone Star Beer Armadillo sticker. <laughs> Not because I thought I could get a lot for him, but just because. It's an armadillo. I'm in Texas. So uh, I paid eight bucks for everything at the garage, so he probably just gave it to me, honestly, because everything else was so cheap. And then I didn't find him. So these are solds of Lone Star Beer stickers on eBay. But they're not the vintage ones. These are more current. So, I mean, I'm still thinking I could put $7.99 on him. And he would be so easy to list, right? <laughs> I couldn't find him, though. Nope. He's not on Etsy either. Let me close that out. Stops. Um, so, yeah. I, I may do a little more. But I'll probably sell him for $7.99 or more. We'll see. Because people collect Lone Star Beer stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you can hear me. All right, this I picked up for $2, and I bought it. I, I could tell that I wasn't sure how old it was, not super duper old. And the reason I could tell that is that this um, this is called a love story scene. This love story scene is not, it's, it looks like a transfer. It doesn't look like it was really nicely done, and it's not even sitting on there straight. It's kind of crooked. But I got it because it's, mm, you know, it had the maker on there, and then it's marked Japan. So I knew it was at least vintage, even if it wasn't. Super nicely done. Hello, my two cents. Hello, <laughs> how are you? So let me show you. Okay, let me show you the inside. There's the inside. And I couldn't find one just exactly like it, but I found similar-ish. Um, so apparently Farrington makes these type of jewelry boxes, like the rings and this type of stuff. Um, but I found this one, Farrington jewelry box, somebody selling for $9. There's another one someone's selling for 20 So I'll probably put that, um, I'll probably put it at the $14.99 mark. I, I knew I wouldn't get a ton for it, but it was at that church garage sale, and I don't know, I was in a buying mood. <laughs> I just was. Okay, and then, let's see, which way do I want to go? Let me finish off the jewelry, and then I'll show you what I picked up at the charity shop today. The rest of it was not researched. I tried. <laughs> And failed. So I picked these up, and they are silver tone, open work. They've got a lot of keywords I can throw in there filigree, etc., etc., um, dangly heart rose earrings. So, yeah, no. So those ones I'm thinking I'll probably put at the $17.99 mark. I may be smoking it, but I'm trying. <laughs> And then some of these other ones I just took a chance on, but I'm not so sure I'll end up selling them individually. This one was like a pearly necklace with these. I just thought those were unusual. That It looks like the eye, the evil eye. Warding off the evil eye, right? So this one and this one together. So they were 50 cents each because they were in the bag for a dollar together. I don't know. I kind of liked them. Maybe I'll try to sell it. I, I mean, I don't think I'll get a ton. They're not marked. I don't think. No. Um, so probably, you know, in the fourteen to seventeen ninety nine range for that right there. And then this one I got because it was vintage, but it it ended up being magnetic. I didn't have my magnet with me. And this was a dollar. But it was marked. Hang on, you can't see that. This little charm thingy. This will probably go in a lot though, but it is marked. And I looked at it before. Oh boy. I did, I promise. I can't read it now. <laughs> Is that bad? I knew what, it, what I knew what it said a minute ago, but now I don't. So I'll have to look at that again. It's marked on this little charm thingy, but I did not look it up. Once I saw it, it was magnetic. I thought, okay, well, it'll probably just end up in a lot. 
as well as these I've got a bunch of baby you know little pearls for dress up that they may go into a lot with rhinestones and pearls for like a little princess party or something I feel bad showing you the rest without telling you what I think I'm gonna get for it but I took a chance like I said I you know I knew I picked up some things that would make the money back and I thought okay let me pick up a few extras for because they were cheap and I'll take a chance on them these ones uh, were 50 cents and I am gonna take a closer look at them because they have that um, tortoise shell look and you got to be real careful I got to make sure that they're either plastic or something else because I don't know how to test you know they have that look so you because you can't sell tortoise shell um, so that I'm gonna double check on they look like they might have a seam there though look at that that looks like it might be a seam right maybe maybe possibly so those ones I'm gonna check on maybe <laughs> let's see <laughs> let me check the chat real quick uh, first oh hey my cherry 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 tree first time catching you live that Mickey Mouse bracelet you know what it already sold like that like somebody messaged me right away about it and I sold it <laughs> so it's already it's already sold <laughs> Isn't that cool that was the fun part of it I get a sale off of it um, these two things were also in a bag together for a uh, dollar so they were 50 cents a piece I know. Sorry, Shelly. <laughs> so this one I think is one of those that it's supposed to go on a dress that has the buttons already, you know. So this will probably end up in a, a lot because I don't have the shirt that it goes with. And then this as well. Again, I didn't have my magnet with me, so I just took a chance on it. And it's not, you know, it is magnetic. So this will end up in a lot as well. But I figured for a dollar or 50 cents a piece, it was okay. And then let's see, two more, and then I've got my stuff from my thrift store today. This one was, oh gosh, this was a dollar. This was a dollar. And it looks like it would be silver, but it's not. It's um, definitely magnetic. Somebody in the other video, when I showed it real fast, said it looks like it might be something called Indian silver, which is something I don't know much about. I'll have to look it up. So, but I, I, I had a feeling I could definitely get even if even though it's not silver I think I could get at least $30 for it I mean it's really heavy I think I'm willing to try for 30 anyway so and then this one somebody said it would look good on a like a Cleopatra uh, costume you know so it just kind of look like a snake so it's this mixed metal looks like brass and copper and I don't think it's really silver but this necklace I paid it says two dollars but I paid a dollar for it like a lot maybe I did pay two dollars okay I did not look that up either so and then there were a couple others I'll just show you that I didn't look up that I was just taking a chance on but they may just end up in a lot but it was so cheap like a buck a buck okay I can take a chance and then today I stopped at the thrift store a charity shop I don't normally stop at I don't normally find a lot there and I found just a couple things I found some fabric and this one let me pull up the, it'll be easier to show you steampunk right yeah it looks steampunk okay let me pull up so it's this um, except it's a little mine is a little different I couldn't find my exact one um, because my swans have got some you know their beaks are different my swans have the orangey yellow beak and then my swans have these like pastel hearts so these are are these sold? These are not sold. I don't know that I saw a sold. No, I don't see a sold. Um, that's something else. So I'm thinking, what am I seeing these up for? I'll probably put mine up for $12.99 at least. Because um, I like mine better. <laughs> mine has got this, you know, the beak is that, that yellowy beak. And then it's got these hearts instead of, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Um, yeah. Anywho, that's what I'm going to do with that one. It's going to be kind of a pain to take a picture of because it's like white on white, right? So we'll see. I know the hills like to tease me that I say we'll see a lot, but that's okay. And then I got another fabric panel for an American uh, apron. So I like these cut and sew panels. They're super easy. Like that. It's a You make your own... 
American apron. And this one, I will screen share because I did look it up. Oh, I didn't tell you how much I paid for those. I'll go back and tell you. So these are sold. I see one sold for $9.95, which I think is okay. I paid, stop. I paid 75 cents for one and 50 cents for the other, and now I can't remember. <laughs> and then last two things, also from the same little charity shop, I paid 79 cents. I always pick these up. They don't always do as well as I like, but I figured for 79 cents, it's complete. And let me see, where'd you go? Um, I'm seeing, I mean, the solds I'm seeing are for like five bucks, but I'll probably still put 10 on it um, because it's good I mean it's butterflies right it's cute I'll still put 10 on it and then lastly I love my vintage wrapping paper I spent 49 cents on this one it's happy birthday it's got unicorns I mean and I think the one I saw was not selling for that much let's see where'd it go the one I saw here sold for $9.99 I really think they could get more for that uh, this seller has listed this relisted this item okay um, but you, I mean, you guys have seen the crazy prices I can get for vintage wrapping paper. So I did not see this one on Etsy. So I will for sure be cross posting this and I'll probably put $17.99 on it because it's got unicorns and right, you know, that's really good subject matter. So that's that. Those are my, that's my haul for you today. Oh, going on grumpy says, why do I always have a sale when you're on? Yeah. And yeah, I should just stay here. Let's just stay in chat. So that's everything. Um, thank you guys for coming over. If this is your first time here, hello, I'm Margaret, and I make videos about reselling and making money online, and I also make videos about other stuff like unboxings and things like that. So I would love it if you would subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know you were here. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks for everybody who came in live. I know it was, I didn't announce it or anything, but. Oh, well. All right. Thanks again. I hope you guys have a really good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.